Hello, my name's Rob and welcome to my brand new channel, 3D Mod UK. I've always been interested in 3D printing, but in the early days of the technology, the equipment was quite expensive, running costs were high, and also I think that my expectations wouldn't have been managed on what you could produce for a piece of equipment that I could afford. Over the years, technology's improved, costs have come down, it's much more affordable now, and also the print quality has got so much better. So, hence why you can see a brand new 3D printer behind me, because I've decided to take the plunge. I did quite a few weeks research prior to purchasing this particular model, and I was looking at different types of equipment, different capabilities, features, I looked at videos on YouTube, I looked at websites, I looked at all different types of product specification, that type of thing. And I decided to limit it down or whittle it down to the Ender range, plus also the Artillery Sidewinder, um, basically because of price and performance. But one of the reasons I liked, or a number of reasons I liked the Artillery, was the size of the community, how well supported it is, um, lots of information out there, um, the company seems to be quite proactive with firmware updates, and also I really like the direct print head, because I felt that that simplified the machine's filament feed. So, hence why you can see the Artillery Sidewinder X1. Now, I'm producing this channel really as my own personal project, but it would be fantastic if other people wanted to join me on this journey in 3D printing. Now, whilst there was lots of information on YouTube when I was researching the equipment, I started to watch how-to guides and um, how to start 3D printing, things to know, things to do, don't make the same mistakes I did, that type of thing. And I, start, I stopped watching them. And the reason I stopped is because I kind of want to work these things out for myself. And I realised that might be a little bit counterintuitive, but I just find there's something really rewarding about trying something, failing, and then identifying why it failed, and then learning from your mistakes. It's rewarding. And I think sometimes if people give you the answers, it's not as much fun as if you work them out for yourself. At least that's what I think. So that's the plan with this particular channel, is to document my progress in 3D printing and show you the real world things that didn't work and you know what did work and what I found and how I made it work, that type of thing. So whilst I'm not necessarily um, out there looking on how to do things, I am also really very much open to people commenting and supporting the channel. So if I do something wrong and you've seen something that's like this before, or you know what the problem is, or you know how it could be improved, I'd love to hear from you. Because it's that kind of feedback that's going to help me learn from my own mistakes. And I just thought that'd be fun. So, as you can see, I've put the machine together, and I've produced a video on my experience in putting this together and assembling the machine, because I felt that whilst there's information out there already, this is my experience, this is how I found putting it together. And it was a little bit tricky, and you'll be able to see why I found it a little bit tricky, and hopefully that might help someone. Um, plus, I plan to do my first 3D prints, and I think I'm gonna start simple, and then try and get a bit more complicated, but we'll see how it goes. So, I welcome you on this journey with me, and thank you for supporting the channel, and thank you for watching. 